Hello guys, and welcome to episode 43 of my Total War Warhammer 2 playthrough, playing as Grom the Paunch, leading the Broken Axe to world domination. Today we're taking on Hamlin Van Hal, who apparently has a little bit of a chance, even though he's only got skeleton spearmen and zombies, so we're just going to jump in play this out nice and quickly, and absolutely destroy this army with our overwhelming spiders. I do like seeing this uh, army in battle, so... I'm not too sad about this. Not really a waste of time when we get to mess around with a billion spiders. I think I'm just going to get all of my Arachnorok spiders to just target the Lord. Uh, these can just chill and cover back here. Alright, let's uh, grab all of these, including my leader, in one group. Okay. Those can be group three, those can be group two. Start deployment, start the battle, off we go. Alright, here we go. And the Dire War's already dead. We can do Itchy Nuisance as well. Just for good measure. So many Spoders. And chopping up those zombies. Nice and easy. We're not taking any damage. So why the order resolve even thought this was like even close? I probably, like I said, I probably could have order resolved it, but I definitely would have like lost some dudes. Whereas if I play it out, I don't lose any. Let's try not to shoot our own dudes that much. Just got to kill him off. There we go. He's just getting munched on by spiders. Easy peasy. It might actually give them a better chance in the auto resolve because they don't have any settlements actually. Might be something weird to do with that. Anyway, I'll take it. We'll just make sure we have the replenishment there. Finish off that army next time around. Oh, never mind. <laughs> the Walker of Woe did it for us. Nice. That's an ambush. Well, actually the ambush failed. Uh, but we can play this out nice and easy. I do need to get magic here at some point, but we should be fine to like lightning strike and play this out. Maybe I could just order resolve it, I don't know. No, we'll just we'll just play it out, just in case. Looks like an interesting map. Don't remember any with like a big canyon in the corner. That being said, I don't really fight in this area that often. Oh, it's like a glacier. Glacier. <laughs> kind of cool. Although, actually, is it? 
Oh, never mind. It's not even frozen. It's just uh, an, a water. Uh, like a lake on the side there. Interesting. Alright. Well. Let's get our people into position. Okay. Uh, the giants can just run ahead. And we have some spiders to run them down at the end. Cool. It's funny how the lighting is making our banners look streaked. Now what would I want to target? Don't even know. Probably the witch house is a good target. And the dark shards. I'm going to tell these giants to go attack individual units of tree here. Uh, we'll go and engage that guy with my lord on his wyvern. He's taking a chunking. Turn around and shoot that guy. So let's hit these dark riders with repeat, repeat across bows as well. Oh, he's really taking a lot of damage. Now oh, he's getting double teamed. That was me thinking he would be really good on that oven, but uh, nope. Just keep pushing with all of these. Wow, that's fine. to catch that lord. But I can probably run down these guys. We'll do that. Get as much damage in as we can. Make sure that Reaper Bolt Thrower unit is gone as well. That'd be handy. Good. Alright, we'll end the battle there. So apart from my lord taking quite a lot of damage, that went pretty well. And just making sure that the uh, archers there turn around and engage the lords I think was pretty important. Otherwise I probably would have just lost a blug straight away. I don't even know if I've made him immortal. I don't think I have. Like a lot of my new lords I haven't actually made immortal because they are quite easily replaceable since we're getting all the buildings that increase hero recruit rank. Um, so, and we're getting those buildings faster than my units are leveling up or my guys are leveling up. So although he's now level 23 now, uh, we can actually recruit new lords at like level 26. So I don't really care if he dies, we can just replace him. I'll try and obviously keep them alive. Because it is always fun having like the same leader for a while. Kalaberg's under attack. Interesting. Uh, we're going to play this out. I'm thinking we might be able to win. It really depends.
Like, I'm gonna have to kill the enemy leader early on, and then... I'm not really sure where we go from there. I think the flagellants or flagellants are going to be uh, quite difficult for us to deal with. But yeah, we can just kill this guy. It's just going to require my archers to shoot him to death. I could put my orcs up on the hill, but I don't think I need to, we'll just have them down here and we'll let them come down the hill. So he'll be dead any second. One more volley. I'll see if he just wants to like stand in front of us and take damage, and that's fine by me. Let's scrap. Moving fast. Running. Bring us to battle. Let's fight. Let's scrap. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that worked out pretty well. Here we go. <laughs> that's dealt with. Okay, let's just speed things up. Wait for the reinforcements. The reinforcements is going to be like more of a normal battle. I don't even know where they are though. Let's have a look. They might just be formed up and not actually coming towards us. Unless they just don't know where I am and then they're just like running around like loonies over here. Oh, there we go. We found them. Whoop. Is that like a fireball? That was crazy. It like flew off into the air and then came back down again. Are they coming for me? Could be. If I get my... Wolf Riders to engage their crossbowmen, I think we'll be alright. Their front line, I think, is technically better than mine. I'm going to have to take out the crossbowmen and then keep the flank going. They have a lord. Must be up here somewhere. Unless he's hidden, like he has stalk or something. We're gonna start charging. So we meet them at the bottom. And then we can have these start flanking. Oh, there he is. Yeah, he's hidden. Oh, okay, it wasn't a fireball, it was like a fire missile. Right, we're going to need these to actually get around the flank somewhat.
Fantastic. Just make sure that those don't come back. Okay, now we can like charge into the back of these engagements just to lower the leadership a little bit and do some damage. Actually doing quite a lot of damage there. Oh, let's keep these moving around the flank. We're getting there. We're going to bring these two through to shoot the budgeons to the back. Mainly because they are harder to deal with. Oh yeah, we should probably engage those. Fine. I might have these just go and make sure those are dead. Oh, never mind. <laughs> My goblins did it anyway. Let's get these out of combat. I could shoot the Lord as well. Uh, let's, yeah, let's start shooting the general. These guys really don't have any armor, do they? So they're going to take loads of damage from my archers. Good. That's pretty much it. Just got to kill off the last of the... Unbreakable units here. There we go. We'll go run down the Lord a little bit. Oh, these guys just getting massacred as they try and run away. That was good. That was uh, like a successful settlement defense there. We can even kill this guy. I probably shouldn't only fire my wolves. <laughs> I killed so many of my wolves there. He will die eventually. We just got to keep it sped up. Just get nibbled on by all of these wolves. Nibble, nibble, poke, poke. It really does like, take so long to kill lords like this sometimes. Actually ridiculous. I think at the end of the battle... It, they should definitely take more damage, like the Lord should, when you're chasing them down. Maybe they should get like a, like a certain debuff. Because it is really, really annoying, like at the end of the battle, to have to do that in Warhammer 2. It's one of those things that's uh, a bit weird, I guess, about the battles. Anyway, uh, we will just take replenishment to make sure the garrison's up to scratch. We got 7,000 for winning that battle. That was like a settlement garrison that made me 7,000 cash. Now we can speed up through these. Great. And there we have it. Extra physical resistance for rogue idols and weapon strength for giants. And also the scrap unlocks. So let's go have a look what scrap unlocks they can get. We'll do it as we go through. Alright, so Shrock deck mount. Naturally the next place for Grom to take. Grom's just going through, just taking all of these settlements nice and easy. Let's 
over to Gorbeds. I'm gonna upgrade this to scrap saddles. Does any of these have giants? I guess we know one army that has giants, don't we? <laughs> All the way up here. We have, of course, Skunk. Let's see what scrap upgrades they get. So they get reinforced weapons, plus 25% weapon strength on top of 732. That's crazy. What does that put them up to? 883? You're kidding me. That's actually insane. And like, in battle with the war going, they had 120 melee attack. <laughs> That's just crazy. Oh, it's nuts. It's just nuts. I love it. Uh, I don't know about the rogue idols. The only army I know that has rogue idols is over here. They're one of these ones. Ashuk. He's got the rogue idols. The jagged weapons, reinforced weapons. Oh, it's the same. Okay. So again, plus 25% weapon strength. It's way better than plus 10 bonus versus infantry. What is that about? So Ashok's heading up to this fort. His army is so good. Is and Oglock's heading up to Vicemund. Great. And Let's have Skarsnik move towards Loradon. And Dogger oh, is not in range to attack these this turn, unfortunately. Can we maybe do an ambush here? No. I will right, just move into their lands and um, set up a raiding camp. Cool. Alright, so over to Gorbirds. Gorbirds can take the Temple of Clinton. So let's go ahead and do this. That should be quite simple. There are no walls, so yeah, this should be easy. Let's jump in and fight this on the battle map. So yeah, this should finish finish off the Hunts Marshals expedition, I think. We'll stop them from building three armies at once every single time, which is kind of frustrating. Uh, a lot of their reinforcements coming in behind us. Hmm. I don't know if I should really react to that or not. We could try and slaughter them as they come in. I'm not sure which ones are coming in where. So I might have to do something like this. Okay. Now reinforcements are coming in far away from us. That's fine. Hopefully a sizable force comes in here. Goblins! For us to engage. Yep, that's fine. All of these can just run down into here. Killed all of them already. Get him through there if we can, just to give us the extra bonuses. Doesn't even look like we need him. And crossbowmen coming in there. Okay. Well, let's just get all of these to keep running down this way. Let's just hit that guy. The missile specialist.
He'll be a missile specialist after having 100 arrows in the face. Goodbye, Hertwig. It's just like so overkill, it's ridiculous. Alright, let's turn these round. Oops. That's fine. Then he's around. Getting into position. Goodbye, swordsman. They are wavering. Waves upon waves of arrows coming towards them. How are we doing over here? The swordsmen ran away, didn't they? <laughs> I love the way the wires like come back and just scared them off. I get my night goblin war boss to deal with that guy. Good old Rogic Lenguil. <laughs> Look at him there. Surrounded by the small goblins. That's really funny. I could have some of these just like turn and actually chase these if I wanted to. <laughs> These guys, this poor guy. <laughs> when you get like the mix of forces like that, like the orcs and the goblins, and the goblins like running amongst the feet of the orcs, it looks really cool. It's like a proper wah. <laughs> you love it. Love to see it. All right, we'll leave it there. My archers got so many kills. The goblin archers, when they have the upgrades, they're just so good. They really are. They lack range, but that's like the only downside. Cool. We will occupy that, thank you very much. And that's the last element of the Hunts Marshall's expedition taken. So Dieter Thorpe's here is the last guy left. The tribe's ready. That was Gorbeds, we've got Spinny Dropgut. He can turn, go and take Black Fan. Thank you very much. Occupy that. And we'll level him up. The Vindictive Glare there. He's got all of his magic maxed out, hasn't he? So I guess we'll just do spread public order now. Good. Over to Ashuk, who's already moved. And then we got Gorkil. Who can take Krakodrak. Oh, there is Skaven here. Okay, interesting. 
I will auto resolve that. Thank you very much. I'm special. Yeah. And we'll upgrade them. It's good that it wasn't a colonization because otherwise I would have had to sacrifice quite a lot of these dudes and I didn't really want to do that. Use the scrap there. The I'm kind of tempted to upgrade these ones as well. Just get this one maxed out with scrap. Don't know about upgrading these goblins, but I guess we could. It's pretty cheap to do those. That leaves us with 137 scrap. That army is isolated and doesn't really have any war army left, so I think that's worth it. Now, there is actually only one turn left until the war is complete. That will give us income from post battle loot plus 40%. We do lose the ammunition and missile strength, which is pretty nasty, but I'm probably just going to put my next war target onto the Order of Lawmasters, honestly. And we'll just get the trophy back. I'm special. So in this gap, we'll just put that and that. Lovely. Actually, I could put the growth building just to max this out. So that we have the best garrison here possible. And we'll get the big lads maxed out. For the bonuses for the Arachnorok Spiders. And then Arachnic. Probably wants to attack the Wargrove of Woe, but it's not really in range to do so. But one thing here is this guy is in March Dance. So I could just attack that and basically Lightning Strike. This guy. Be an easy way to deal with them. It's so annoying that we're just out of range there. Because he doesn't have a war. So. Yeah, that's like his maximum range. Apparently, if we underway, we can move further. Hmm. Are we ready to take on the dwarves? I think we probably are. Has Nashrax Lair changed hands again? That keeps going back and forth, like between <laughs> the Bone Rattlers and the dwarves every single time. How's Grimgore doing? Grimgore's actually not doing too bad. He's still okay. Yep, that's nice. It's funny because at the moment we own like all of this land, right? But honestly, we actually own all of the confederated land as well. So <laughs> it's kind of crazy how big we are technically. Because I will be able to confederate them. But yeah, this is really annoying. Uh, let's just move as far as we need to. And uh, I will just go into... Raiding camp. What and we will take this attack. Anymore? This turn. Attack! So we'll lightning strike him. Without his garrison. Just so that we can manage this a little bit better. There is going to be some pretty tough units to deal with though. Let's jump on in. I think the archers will get the job done though for us. I think it'd be fun for me to do a playthrough with Dryker actually. A Wargrove of Woe playthrough. Very cool lord. Alright, let's pull back a little bit. Away from these trees. I'm going to put my catapults up here. And we'll have the archers like so. I'm going to put these in the middle, put these on the flanks, got a couple of cav units ourselves, 
All right, start deployment, start the battle. Off we go. Look at these. That is cool. That is a cool unit. He's got the malevolent dryads. And wild riders with shields, but they've got their shiny spears. Look at that. That's cool. Really awesome units here. I'm going to want to target those. I'm going to want to target those Waywatchers. And we're going to want to target the Zotes as well. I might just... Okay. <laughs> Let them charge into my, my uh, infantry, apparently. They're going to be really, really hard to kill. I could just foot of gawk them. It would kill my own dudes. If I have these run away, we can drop a foot of gork in there. And that'll do quite a lot of damage. Oh, my front line is absolutely wrecked right now. Nice. That hit hard. Or that, please. Oh, the other thing that I should probably do is put these on guard so they're not like running forwards like idiots. I think that's why they ended up in melee. Because the units they were shooting at ran away. Not sure if this will work at close range, but I'll give it a go. Did some damage. Oh, there's Drycare himself. Let's move back there. Yeah, make sure we kill off those. Let's go engage Striker with our Lord. Damn, we took a lot of damage in this fight. And I think we have one. And letting the cavalry around the flank there and just running straight into my catapults is really dumb. It was really, really dumb. Are these unbreakable? These war dancers. I was thinking uh, Draken might technically be a she because. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we'll go run her down then. Job done. They're in March stance actually, so I don't need to run them down. That was tough. I think all of these regiments of renown are really good. Especially the cavalry. And those Malevolent Dryads got a lot of kills. Like, my goblins aren't weak. Like, they're not, you know, top tier, but they're still not bad. And we're going to want to take replenishment for sure. Now Striker dealt with, and we've got the mission successful. That's nice. So this gives us immune to Athel Lauren and Awakened Forest Attrition. Minus five obedience for the local province. And we're going to take Krugenheim. Thank you very much. Upgrade that. 
can get loads of replenishment. So yeah, these goblins, they do have 48 melee attack and 38 melee defense. With 45 weapon strength, so they're pretty damn good. That's uh do choppers. And the orc shaman. Can grab arcane conduit. Nice. Over to Zogoth. Right, Zogoth is... Ooh, okay. Lancelot was taken back by the cult of Sotek. Interesting. I think we could probably kill them, although I won't be able to attack this turn. We will raid next to them with our savage orcs. Let's head over to Ublug. Ublug can take out this army. Take a little bit of replenishment. Got campaign and that's nice. Have I not given him... I haven't given him any... Um... Let's go! Any equipment. That's what I was thinking of. So let's give him... How much Duskwar is pretty good. I could also give him a better weapon. Giant Blades, okay. Fencer Blades is pretty nice, though. Cool. Let's get out Clevering and Renown of Feared. Lovely. That's good. Gives him the uh, movement range. And unfortunately, guys, it has been my time. So, yeah, we'll leave it here. We're doing alright. We've taken quite a lot of ground. We're still taking more ground. We're going to be able to try out this army soon, which is going to be fun. I'll probably just like run into Weissmund. Uh, I don't think they have walls. So we'll just run them down in battle. That would be really, really fun. I'm looking forward to using that army. Not the most practical army, especially when it comes to like sieging stuff, but yeah. <laughs> we will look cool when we actually just take people out in open field battles. But that is it. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.